Well, how do I look? Sort of like Snoopy on his way to a romantic dinner for two with the Red Baron. Do you think the Baron would be interested? Barry is in his driving duds. For graduation, I'm getting my father's old pickup. Oh, I just love the image a truck gives you. It's very butch. Especially with those black leather seats. Oh, and you just know what leather does to me. You should be careful, Barry. People might start to think you're gay. Well, I'm getting my father's van. It was the one that I was conceived in. <laughs> God, I hate parents. Rather than buy me a new car, my parents are getting me a used Mercedes. I mean, my mother sat in it, for God's sakes. They think they can just slap a personalized license plate on and it'll make it all better. Think about it. I am an abused child. Uh. No. This whole car thing is so unfair. Why should kids who have worked so hard to graduate high school get hand-me-downs when parents who have done nothing get new? Oh, I didn't go through four years of high school for nothing. I'm gonna go home and get a new car out of my daddy. Well, Dad already promised me a Corvette. You're not getting a Corvette. He's gonna do the old mystery box trick. You know, where he offers you what you want or what's in the box, and you always pick the box, and there's never anything in the box. <laughs> Well, the stakes are high this year, baby. I've been practicing saying no to the box. Guys in metal shop helped me out with this little training aid. Sure cured me. I mean, I have no need to touch this wonderful, mysterious, bewitching. Oh, God, I love you. What happened? Ooh, a box. <laughs> Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back no more. Oh, what you say? Hit the road, Jack, and don't you come back. When's Daddy coming home? Oh, that's so cute. I used to wonder, too. <laughs> yeah, where's Daddy? Because I'm not taking the box. I'm not taking the box. <laughs> what a day! Man, I tell you, those movie theaters were jam-packed. Doesn't anybody go to work anymore? <laughs> used to be it was just me and Joe Piscopo. I want my Corvette. Of course, you got it. But son, before you make your decision, just let me get the box. No, no box. Look, son, you don't have to take the box. I understand where you're coming from, but there's no harm in having a little look. All right, well, I'll look, but I'm telling you right now, I'm not taking the box. A shiny gold ribbon. Yeah. <laughs> no box, no box. I understand, son. After all, with a Corvette, you know what you've got. But the box, well, the box could be anything. <laughs> wow, I don't know what to do now. Take the car. Take the box. Oh, take the box. Take the car. <laughs> no, this year I want the car. All right. Fine, you've made your decision. I'm just going to give the box to Tiffany. No, give it to me, it's my box. <laughs> it's 
empty. <laughs> Why do I take the box? Because you're a moron. <laughs> well, that was fun. So, I guess that leaves me with a Corvette. Not exactly. Uh, family gathering. It's time that you knew the awful truth. The reason I cannot get a new car for my precious little baby girl is because we're broke. We've maxed out all our credit cards. Yep, I was sitting at the movies today with my $7 popcorn and my $5 Coke, and the thought occurred to me, where the heck does the money go? What are you doing? Not nothing. nothing. You're having a family gathering without me again. Very nice. What did you do this time? Went broke. We're tapped out. No kidding. And by the way, I just got a letter today. I owe $10,000 on my visa card. I don't have a visa card. Yes, you do. You got four of them. Looks like your credit's ruined. Good luck getting that college loan. <laughs> A little tip, folks. If you ever get life insurance, don't turn your backs. Ooh, now for breakfast. Uh, Mr. Bringdown. Yeah. <laughs> Why would we get life insurance? We barely trust each other, much less the kids. <laughs> so, let me get this straight. I have been the ideal child and done well for nothing. Yeah, there That's you go. That's about it, sweetheart, yeah. And if I want a car, it's up to me. Yeah, pretty much. Very well. I'll just go out and get a job. I come from hardy peasant stock. That's you, too. <laughs> and I have spunk. You guys may not have given me much, but you've given me the power to dream. And the belief that if I reach for the stars, I can be anything I want. And that's worth a heck of a lot more than a car. You bet, honey. <laughs> go get it. <laughs> and she's supposed to be the smart one. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Floppy, I'm just a great big nothing. <laughs> Not true, Jack. You're a great big middle-aged nothing. <laughs> Some people leave a mark on this world. Others, like you, just leave a stain. <laughs> well, it's too late to do anything about it. So I may as well just enjoy having another beer. <laughs> You're never too young or too old for that, are you? <laughs> Floppy, you ever think about the future? Yeah, I'm thinking next Christmas of putting out a little Mr. Floppy doll. Hmm. <laughs> it could be the next hot toy. Tickle me, Elmo. <laughs> well, kiss me, butt. <laughs> He's not fit to carry my jock. <laughs> of ideas for floppy dolls. Like, call me floppy. Go, go, huggy, huggy. <laughs> or, punish me floppy. <laughs> I've been a bad bunny. <laughs> Spank me. Ouch. Oh, yeah, it feels good. <laughs> or, better yet, a doll that beautiful women would love. Prince's pal, floppy. <laughs> you are a beautiful girl. You're too good for any man. Cuddle me between your bosoms. <laughs> Batteries sold separately. <laughs> if only daytime fudgeball Rosie O'Donnell would take a liking to me. I could be worth millions. Excuse me while I suck up to the lovable whale. <laughs> Hi, Rosie. Love your show. Cuddle me on your soft, ponderous belly. <laughs> oh, never mind. I'd rather be nothing. Okay, let's get back to the story. Yeah, yeah, I really like this one. As I've told several other captains of industry whose offers I'm juggling, I'm a straight-A student, I have excellent managerial skills and several ideas that I think would benefit your operation. How's your scooping hand? We do need an ice cream server. I'll take it. Oh, I've always wanted to work in a happy place like an ice cream shop. God bless you, Granny Goodness. 
Now that I have the job, do you think you could advance me several thousand dollars so I could buy a car? Oh. I'm almost deaf, so I only heard God bless you. <laughs> I have a job, I have a job. <laughs> Hello, chocolate. Hello, strawberry. Hello, dead bug in the rocky road. <laughs> Hello there. And how may I help you? I'd like some plain vanilla. Quite an imagination you've got there. I'll bet you'll wind up being a network executive. <laughs> you know what? You are so cute, and I'm gonna give you some free sprinkles. Have a nice day. Enjoy your free sprinkles. Free sprinkles? <laughs> Why don't you just reach inside me and twist my bowels? I'm sorry? You can't tuck saris down the briefs of a male stripper. This job is going to be harder than I thought. You're not paid to think, Scoopy. You're here to work. And work you will, until your hand is so frozen and numb, you'll nay be able to hold it open. So scoop and scoop, dearie. Scoop for granny, until your hand looks like this! <laughs> and once you finish doing the dishes, I want you to scrub the floors, wash the windows, polish the chrome, and clean the bathroom. Oh, I just did the bathroom. So did I. Now, don't forget to water down the fudge sauce. I'm off to the cockfights. I'm betting on you. She can't break my plucky spirit. I'm gonna get this place ship shape and be the best assistant manager she ever saw. I'll sing a cheery tune, put on a happy face, and let a smile be my umbrella. I can't. I hate working. It's hard. If only something or someone could save me. Fair maiden, you don't belong here. Oh, so true. But alas, I need money for a car. Come with me to Paris. You can have any car in France. I don't want a French car. You know, like I'm really gonna drive around in a Peugeot. Why can't you be the prince of, like, Germany and I could have a Porsche? Let's compromise. I'm a Swede. We'll make it a Volvo. Turbo? Of course. Then I'm yours. <laughs> I must pop the big question. Can I use your bathroom? Can I use your bathroom? I started at the pancake house, but the plumbing had about all it can take. Did you eat my prince? I don't know, Floppy. Why am I such a failure? Well, Jack. It might have something to do with the fact that you never go to work, you spend your time talking to a stuffed bunny, and that you drink beer at 8 in the morning. Another mystery solved. Daddy? Daddy, what do you do when you don't want to go to work? Oh, honey, you can never give in to that feeling. You have to face your responsibilities. Just suck it up. <laughs> do what you gotta do. You wanna go to the movies today? Have you been fired, Daddy? Well, they've been leaving a lot of messages, but if you wanna fire Jack Malloy, you're gonna have to find him. <laughs> oh, Daddy, listen to this. I got my first paycheck yesterday, and did you know that the government takes half of what you earn? No, I didn't know that. <laughs> Did you know that your mother takes the other half? This rate I'll never be able to afford a car. Oh, Daddy, what am I gonna do? Oh, sweetheart. God, what is that thing? It's my scooping claw. <laughs> Daddy, I hate working. I mean, 
I'm for exploiting the worker as much as the next guy, but I'm pretty, darn it, and I deserve better. I mean... <laughs> business has doubled since I've been there, especially in the highly desirable 18 to 34 male demographic. <laughs> refuses to talk about giving me a raise. Well, sweetheart, I think you've just got to march up to that old bag and demand a raise. And tell her if she won't give it to you, you'll just take it right out of her hide. Bosses are afraid of crazy people. <laughs> a lot of people think I'm crazy. I'm fooling them. I'm fooling them all. <laughs> it's a great act, Daddy. Yeah. <laughs> Bang, bang. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get that razor or else. Daddy, you've been an inspiration. Come on, let's go to work. Let's go to let's work, go come to on. Jimmy, yeah. I'm going to work. Ross, I'm out of here. Yay, Daddy. Yeah, Daddy, he's going to work, we're proud of you. What took you so long? Damn family wanted to take pictures. Oh, I was scared, Floppy. All that sunlight. Floppy, why am I so frightened of the outside world? I don't know, Jack. It could be because the air is poisonous. The ozone layer is evaporating. Secondhand smoke. First-hand bullets. Meteors <laughs> could hit us. Earthquakes can bury us. And you take your life into your hands any time you walk into a Bank of America. <laughs> so isn't it better that you stay home with me every day? Yes, Mr. Floppy. <laughs> Remember, kids, the weaker you are, the more the government helps you. <laughs> I deserve a raise, and I am going to get a raise. <sighs> Granny, you can check under the tables for gum all you want. I scraped them all clean. I work like a dog, and I want a raise. Granny. <laughs> Granny. <laughs> Granny. Granny. <laughs> Granny. God, dead body, dead body. Mickey, dead. Oh. Hey, Tiff. What's doing? She's dead. You sure? Yes. Did you poke her with a stick? Yes. Did you see if she's breathing? Yes. Did you bury your face in her chest to see if you can feel her heartbeat? No. Well, then you don't know for sure. No, get back here. You know Granny's motto: no free samples. <laughs> Ryan, we are here with a stiff. Do something. Call 911. 911! 911! Dial 911. Sorry. I feel so stupid. What's the number again? 911. Hey, I'm stupid, not deaf. <laughs> Hello? It's a recording. Now we're on hold. <sighs> Poor Granny. Think she'll go to heaven? Not without a crane. <laughs> I am working like a dog here. I'm on hold here. Shh. You know what? I came here to ask for a raise, and I am going to get a raise. Yeah. <clears throat> Granny, I want to raise. If you have a problem with that, just say no. <laughs> yes! Right? I just got a raise. Finally, somebody appreciates me. Yay, me. Way to go, sis. You know, as management, I'm getting a thousand great ideas. Here's one. Let's move the rotting corpse out of the area where customers might trip. Okay? I'll hold for 911. You drag her body into the freezer. <laughs> By the arms, Ryan. Yeah! Hi, Tiffany. Yeah! I 
had no idea you worked here. I never would have come in if I thought it would humiliate you. By the way, I got the Mercedes, and I see you got the polyester uniform of the working class. Oh, well, being cool is in everything when you're a teenager. <laughs> and how may I help you gain some more weight? Sable, my sweet, how would you like to see a dead body? Wow, would I? Hello? Yeah, I'm gonna have to call you back. Now, as a matter of fact, please hold. Come on. God, look at all this cash. I have enough money to buy a car, and there's not much left in the freezer except for Granny. Yeah, well, there's nothing in the yellow pages. Nobody will pick up the body. A couple Moroccan restaurants were interested until they found out Granny wasn't the name of our cat. Well, we'll just let the cops take care of her. Yeah, but how are we going to get him here? You just drag the body out. I'll take care of the cops. Sarge, want sprinkles? You know, I really should be at work. So should we. We've noticed you made several derogatory comments about thieving gypsies in your recent shows. Clearly, you've chosen to pick on us because we're not as well organized as the other stupid minorities. Well, that's all changed. Sign, the Committee for Concerned Thieving Gypsies. Uh, thieving gypsies, let me put it this way. We won't say any derogatory things about you if, uh, you give us back our wallets. Oh, yeah, um, and our children. <laughs> 